thinking about buying a new Mac, but you're afraid that you got so many things set up in your old Mac that it'd be too much trouble, the good news is there's a tool called Migration Assistant that's included within Mac OS that makes migrating to a new computer easy. Now, obviously, before proceeding with this, be sure that you have a complete backup of everything. That's all your photos, your files, your, uh, your videos, your passwords, everything that you put on that computer. Be sure you have a complete backup to be safe because there's always a possibility with any sort of migration that things may be lost. So be sure that you have a complete backup, complete working backup before you proceed. But if you decide to proceed, here's how you do it. So from your old computer, go to Finder, Applications, Utilities, Migration Assistant. Once you do that, it may ask for your password. Then you'll be presented with this screen. So from your old computer, select how do you want to transfer your information, say, to another Mac. Because this is your old computer. This is the one that has all of your files and information. So say, to another Mac from this computer and then click continue. And now what you'll see is that it's uh, your computer, it should show your computer's name, so that should be your old computer's name. In my case, it's Sean Coonery's iMac. So now, let's go to my new computer, the one that I haven't set anything up on, and let's see what we do there. And now this is my new computer, the one that I bought and I wanna move all my stuff to, so from it, Again, I launched Migration Assistant. I went to Finder, Application, Utilities, Migration Assistant. But from my new computer, I select From a Mac. And it says Connect AC Power. That just means, in this case, it's a laptop, so I plug in my power adapter here. And then I hit Continue. And you can see there, my Mac, my old Mac, is Sean Coonery's iMac. So I select it. I hit continue. It's going to ask for a code. So you're going to want to make sure that it appears on the other Mac. And it's important to mention when I had to confirm the code, I had to confirm the code from the old Mac computer. So I had to go to the old Mac computer, confirm the code, and click to continue from the old Mac computer. Now, what it'll do now to present you with this screen, and you can choose what you would like to uh, transfer to your new Mac. So in my case, and this will spin for a while, you know, just let it spin. In my case, I wanna do applications, documents, and data, computer and network settings. So I'm just gonna do everything. All that I would do is click continue, and depending upon how much information you have, it could take a matter of minutes or a matter of hours. And that's also depend, it also depends upon the speed of your network, whether it's a Wi-Fi network or a uh, wired network. So it's a really simple process, very streamlined. Again, I'm not actually going to click continue because I've already done this, but I just wanted to create this video for tutorial purposes. Because if you're like me, you were on the fence, you know, how does this work? Can I do it? Do I want to do it? It actually worked really well for me. But again, do not, do not do it unless you have a complete, a complete backup of everything. Because with anything like this, there's always risk of losing data. So just keep that in mind. Hope this video is of value. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. It's youtube.com forward slash Guy. Y'all have a good day. Hey, y'all. Guy here. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to subscribe, like, and share. It's viewers like you that enable my channel to continue to grow. Thank you.